Hi, Mike here with another video about using styles in Word. This is a continuation of a series about using styles with lists in Word. In a previous video, we talked a little bit about how to use the automatic feature of Word to create bulleted and numbered uh, lists. And what we learned is that Microsoft Word applies a style called list paragraph to all bullets, numbers, all levels of all of those lists. So the automatic features of the bulleted and numbered lists in Word are great, but there's a certain limitation in what you can do in terms of styling the different levels and different kinds of lists. So in this video, I'll show you one option for how to style different levels of a list differently by using some built-in styles in Word, and I will show you how to create your own version of those things and I'm going to focus primarily on bullets because there are some interesting issues associated with numbering and renumbering that are sort of beyond the scope of what we want to talk about. Uh, those of you who've used Word a long time may know what I'm talking about. So let's have a look. Let's go back to one of these sort of blank documents that I seem to be enamored of. Here we have some items that I want to create as bulleted lists. Um, and several different lists. Now over here in the Styles pane, I'm just showing the styles that are currently available to me in the current document. I'm not going to mess with, with these um, uh, buttons up in the toolbar at all for purposes of this video. What I want is I have two levels of bulleted lists. Here's bulleted list 1, 2, and then you see I have 2A, 2B, and 3. So I want those to be different, I want those to have a different look. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the options in the styles pane, and instead of just showing the styles that are available in the current document, I'm going to show all styles in alphabetical order. And as soon as I do that, all of a sudden I've got dozens and dozens of different styles available to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the L's, here you see list, you can see list, list 2, 3, 4, 5, list bullet, 2, 3, 4, 5, list continue, 3, 4, 5, etc. I'm going to concentrate on list bullet. Okay, so I applied a style called list bullet. Now if you look at this style, you can see that it's just a paragraph style. What it is, it's a paragraph style that has had a bullet added to it. It's, it's kind of that simple. So, <clears throat> let me apply that style to all the rest of the, par the paragraphs in this list. So now I've got five bullets. Notice they're flush left. You might remember from using the automatic list feature that when you create a bulleted list, um, it indents the bulleted list, and there's really nothing you can do about that in terms of styles. But here I've got bulleted list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 2, 2A, 2B. They're all flush left. And you can see I have also bullet number 2A, 2B, and I want those to be indented. Those are, I guess you'd think of them as sub-bullets. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose those two paragraphs, and I'm going to apply a different style to them. Um, this is just as I would do with any kind of paragraph. If I want one paragraph to be flush left and another paragraph to be indented, I would use two different styles for this. So I'm doing the same thing here. I'm choosing a different style for the indented list, uh, bulleted list. So I apply list bullet 2, and now I have a different look. So this is not, there's no smarts associated with this. It's not like the automatic list feature where using the tab or shift tab allows you to move stuff back and forth at different levels of the list. This is actually just different styles applied to different paragraphs that just so happen to have different indentations and different bullet styles. So for example, this indented bullet list um, it uses the same bullet, as you can see here, um, as I had in the um, at the top level. This is just solid bullet. Let's say that my, I want my indented bullets to have a different kind of bullet on them. So I can just go modify list bullet 2 modify, and then I'll go to Format, Numbering, slightly unintuitive, but in the Numbering dialog box there's also a tab for bullets, and I'll say I want my indented bullets to um, be, I don't know, hollow, hollow, something distinct, that's all I care about. And maybe <coughs> I'll also make them red, 
these second level bullets. Uh, and you can see what happens here. Aha! So I got a different bullet, uh, a hollow one, and I got a different color. So to reiterate, what I'm showing you is that by using these paragraphs that have bullets added to them, I can actually, in effect, get different styles for different levels of bullets. Um, if I apply those styles again, I get the same behavior. So I'll come down here, pull it 1A, 1B, and I'll apply the second level. See? Very nice. Now, one of the things we couldn't do with the automatic list feature was to set the indentation level. And just for illustration, I'll mess around with that. What I'll, t what I'll actually do here is I'll set list bullet to have a very heavy indentation, let's say 0.75. Okay, and now all my list, my first level list items are 0.75 in. Now why are these second level bullet items not affected by this change? Because they have nothing to do with the first level. It's a different paragraph style. It has its own independent indentation. So I can set that independently. And I'll make this, let's say, one full inch. And now they'll be appear to be indented uh, in relationship to the top level. But these are independent paragraph styles that, as, again, as I keep saying, just happen to have bullets associated with them. But this is very powerful. It gives me a way to do different bullet lists. I give up some of the automatic behavior associated with uh, the automatic list, but I have full control over the formatting of the different levels of bullets. Okay, um, so these are the ones that are built in. As you can see, there's list bullet, list bullet 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's built-in paragraphs, styles, for up to five levels of bulleted lists. Um, suppose that I want to have something uh, in between these guys, um, a result of the operation. I don't want it to be a bulleted list. I can use these styles called list continue, continue 2, continue 3, continue 4, and all those really are, are, is, um, whoops, those are um, paragraphs that have different sets of indentation associated with them. Okay? These are all built into Word. You don't need to um, create these yourself or anything. All right. So I'm going to undo all these. So list bullet, I'm going to undo all that. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to create my own versions of these things just so you can kind of see what might happen. So let's imagine that I have a requirement for two different kinds of bulleted lists. A loose bulleted list and a tight bulleted list. I don't exactly know why I need those, but bear with me just a second. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a style called tight bullet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to numbering and I'm just going to choose a bullet character and just oh I don't know, let's choose squares just to be a little bit different. Okay, so I'll do that. Tight bullet. All right, so there's tight bullet. I'll apply tight bullet to all of these. Now, notice that the indentation, it's indented automatically. I don't know, maybe I want those to be flush left again. Come back to paragraph, set these to zero. All right, and now they're flush left. Um, now, I have this sub bullet as before. So what I'll do is I'll create a second style, a paragraph style called tight bullet 2. Uh, and it will be very similar. I'll indent it 0.25. And I'll choose a different bullet character. So the first time I use square bullets, maybe this time I'll use this weird chevron thing. Okay. Okay. And tight bullet 2. Okay, so now I have oh, the whole point of having tight bullets, of course, was to make them tight, wasn't it? So let me change the uh, paragraph formatting here. I'll change this to single. Oops, come back here. Single. And don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. And I'll do that here as well. paragraph format single don't add space. Okay. So now this bullet list is a lot tighter than it was. Now, as I said, maybe I need a tight bullet style 
and a loose bullet style. So let me create the loose bullet style. Once again, it's just a series of paragraphs. Loose bullet. Uh, and just to make this particularly contrastive, I'll make this a different color. I'll give it um, a different bullet style altogether. Maybe a check mark for the top level of this thing. Uh, what else do I want to do? I want to set the indentation to be zero. No, I'll leave it at 0.25. Okay, so now I have a style called loose bullet. I'll use that multiple times. You can see that I have different line spacing for the two different levels. And I will create a new style called loose bullet. Whoops, spell it right. Two. Um, I'll base that on loose bullet, and I will change the indentation, and I will change the bullet character to something even more outlandish than what we've already been seeing, uh, maybe to this weird diamond thing. Okay. So, okay. So now I have four different styles for using bullets in this document. I have tight bullet, which gives me a flush left square bullet with pretty tight line spacing. I have tight bullet two, uh, also tight line spacing uses a chevron as a bullet. I have loose bullet, which is a check mark, indented, I think 0.25, um, and red. And then I have loose bullet two, which is uh, indented even more and uses a different bullet character. So again, what I've done is I've created bullet, I'm sorry, par uh, paragraph styles that have different indentation, color, line spacing, all these things. And then I've just added a bullet character to them. And now I have, in effect, these all these different styles, four different styles that I can play around with that, to format different levels of different bulleted lists. And in fact, I have not just the ones I created, the four styles I created, I still have those built-in ones, list bullet, list bullet two, three, four, five. So I have many different paragraph styles that have bullets on them that give me formatting capabilities for different lists, for different levels of different lists, and so on. And to reiterate, you can do all this with numbers, but then the whole renumbering thing gets a little tricky. So I'm going to save that one for when we're talking about actual real list styles. All right, talk to you next time.